Since he was caught in our investigation, he has spent a lot of time in court. Just four days after the sting, he went before a judge in the first case involving the solicitation charge to determine his status as a sex offender. I'm going to review Exhibit 3 before I rule on this one. The judge was informed that Westerbeck was caught in our sting. I am required in this hearing to make a determination as to whether or not I believe, based upon the facts presented, the defendant will commit future sex offenses. In this case, you've made it very clear, Mr. Westerbeck, as to... Uh, uh, whether or not you commit future offenses. This court will make a finding, and I make this finding beyond a reasonable doubt, that you are likely to commit future crimes based upon the evidence before the court today. With that determination, the court will make a finding that you are a sexual predator. And last week, he pleaded guilty to raping the young family relative, a child under the age of 13. Westerbeck, like all the other men caught in our investigation, will appear before a judge to answer the charge of attempted unlawful sexual conduct with a minor here in Dark County, Ohio. And the repeat offender. I'm stupid. I'm, I'm weak. I'm, I have no intentions of having sex with her. In respect to the courts, I'd ask for an OR because I'm going to jail on Thursday anyway. I think I'll ensure that you make it back to Judge Wolliver's court in Springfield. I'll set bail on 100000 cash sure to your property. For many of these men, the trip from chatting about sex online to shuffling through the criminal justice system has been a long one. A lot of thinking and planning goes into 